Bachelor. We're getting those terminal degrees, those JDs, MD, PhDs. We also are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, uh, along with Latina women in America. Pew Research said that women are now out earning men out earning men yes. in 22 yes. of the largest cities in America, including where I live, New York, D.C., L.A., you name it. When we talk, and I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man, so I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, mm. if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. I can build with a bus driver. Mm. I'd have my little stash over on the side in my prenup, but I could build with a bus driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think some of the criteria that we look for in the reality of today keeps us unhappy, keeps us angry, mm. keeps us in balance. And then when the men show up, we want to beat them up because they're not living up to our standards and criteria. And and it's not working, beloved. It's just not working. So it's not that it's bad or wrong. It's obsolete. Mm -hmm. It's obsolete. Mm. We have to come up with a new way of being. I don't believe in carrying a man. A man has to do for himself. My son got his first job when he was nine. Nine. OK, because you're a Not black man, you will know how to take care of yourself. But I think the way we measure it, it's, it's just obsolete. I think that's a factual analysis uh, for whatever we want, expect, we're told we were going to get. We got to look at the numbers and what's available on the marketplace. So, so you're certainly not not wrong in the or, analysis. Uh, and and y'all, let's 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 tell the truth and shame the devil. We know what you got in that prenup was it would never be little. It'll never be small. <laughs> Child, that's a big old mound of assets. But uh, but that's okay. But that's okay. Uh, let's spend a little more time just so we're really clear in this conversation, uh, Doctor Von Zant. Difference between masculine energy and feminine energy, because I know that is not necessarily gender assigned, right? This is bigger than that. This is big, bigger than genitalia, right? Right. Absolutely. When we talk about man is mind, woman is heart. And so many of us have guarded, broken, um, um, closeted hearts that we do everything from here. And here, you know, as a woman that's been educated, that, like you said, has a degree, here will run out. Here will lie to you. Mm. This will never lie to you. But we've been taught not to trust this. We've been taught not to trust our knowing, our intuition. Mm. But a man can have a good idea and be brilliant, you know? So we want to have good ideas. But for us, our mm. power is in knowing, and it's in getting that that intuition and moving on it. That our power is in what we feel, not necessarily emotion, but what we feel in our body. But so many of us are out of mm -hmm. touch with our body. We'll give our body to somebody else before we really get in touch with it ourselves because we're so busy doing till we don't know how to be. When I talk about feminine energy, again, I'm talking about the grace, the compassion, the humanity. I'm talking about mercy. I'm talking 
talking about silent stillness. I'm talking about flow and movement. I'm talking about speaking from a place of intuitive knowing, love. I'm not, and, and, and that's not the masculine way. The masculine way is justice, structure, power, is control. Ma that's masculine. Feminine is dominion, not control. Mm. But most of us, many of us, I'm in recovery, are control freaks. So it's a whole nother way, a whole nother vibe. She raises her hand. There's a whole nother yeah. vibe uh, that we can tap into, that we have to tap into because the world is dying. This society, this system is coming down. And if we don't step into our power as women, we're going down with it with the fall of the materialism and the collapse of the of the systems and the structures we got to how many women do you know with degrees could live outside and survive for 3 days on the earth how many do you know